All right, so today we're out here doing a little testing. We're testing our new long range quad. Boom, this little guy right here, this fat little battery pack on the bottom can fly like 20 minutes. This is some secret cells we're testing, but I have a theory we can make 30 minutes. What's your bet? I'm betting 22 and a half minutes. I'm gonna go with 29.6. All right, All right. the bets are yeah. locked in. This guy has been set up and it even has a little HD camera on board. It's none of that diarrhea DVR for this flight. So uh, I think we're ready to go and let's yeah, see what happens. Absolutely. So uh, we just picked this up and we noticed one of the motors was a lot, like really hot. Right? Yeah, it's like the other motors are super duper cool, but this back right one is really getting toasty on us. So we don't know if maybe it was the angle we were flying, it was having to work harder. And I, I think you might notice too in this video, like right before we landed, I kind of underestimated the lack of power and kind of tried to slowly go out and I should have gave it a little more throttle quicker. Also, I have flown this quad about 10 times already and I have not been super easy on it. So something, <laughs> I think something to learn from is if you have a quad like this and you're flying it and just one motor is bad, um, it's probably a good idea to replace that one if like one's just getting really hot and the others aren't. That's probably the biggest thing that kills these toothpicks is uh, the motor's going out, it kills the FC and then everyone blames the flight controller. But honestly, the flight controller really can't do much if the motors die, it's gonna short it out, it's gonna kill it. Yeah, and um, these motors just notoriously don't last anywhere near as long as your standard fire. They're just, motors. yeah, they're just small and light. So, you know, check it out. You're flying, it's getting real hot, and the other ones aren't. Just replace the motor, and it'll probably make the flight controller last a lot longer. Absolutely. We have more motors at home, we have more of these at home. We're gonna fly it till it dies. I kind of get the feeling you do that just so you can put a dolphin sound. <laughs> Two. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> the one other thing is, this is so incredibly boring to fly. I'm guessing 30 minutes, he's guessing. I don't remember what your guess 22. was. 22. We'll, we'll have to rewind. We are actually going in shifts. I just did my first eight minute shift. I'm about to do eight minute shift and hopefully little Preston will do an eight minute shift afterwards. And then uh, one of us will get to finish it off. Hopefully, unless it lasts 24 minutes. Or, or unless that motor <laughs> goes bad and it falls out of yeah, the air. Or literally catches on fire and like meteors itself to the ground. So it fell out of the sky. <laughs> uh, it, luckily, it was close by, so we didn't have to go very far. Uh, we think there is probably something a little wrong with the quad, but we're going to go check it out right now and see if the motors are hot. There you go, Nick. All right. Can't see anything. Cold. 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 All the motors are ice cold. So there was no problem with this quad. The back right motor was smoking hot last time because the way Preston was flying, he's basically sitting at an angle like this, full throttle and getting some nice panning shots for about eight straight minutes of the sunset. But no, all the motors are ice cold. We flew it for exactly, oh, let's see, 26 minutes and 15 seconds. So what do you think? You think you would rather have the lighter battery that went 18 minutes or the bigger battery that went 26 minutes? Oh, I'd much rather have the bigger batteries than 26 minutes. I mean, the batteries are almost the same weight. So the 30 price, grams more, which is pretty significant. It's like a third or half as much, like 50% more. How much is it? It was like, uh, I want say it's like 120 grams and the other one was like 90 grams. So maybe, uh, maybe not quite. It was pretty significant. That's a tough question. Either way, the flight characteristics weren't that much different. This one definitely felt a little bit heavier. If you're doing long range, like a dirt stuff, this battery is the way to go. But if you're actually trying to just fly for a really long time and have some fun while doing it, smaller, lighter battery was definitely fun. I still was able to just freestyle it and fly it around like almost a normal five inch quad. So it really wasn't that bad. 
All right, so that was the long range, well, not really long range, long endurance test of these brand new lithium ion cells we have for the toothpicks. It was 26 minutes, 15 seconds until the drone fell out of the sky. That was the most most brain numbing flight. It was pretty non climatic. One thing I want to point out is we use that other antenna on the other quad oh, and yeah. we went at least double the range. I think triple. More, way more, way yeah. more than triple. And that's, we went over a mile on the other antenna and that's in this terrible environment. I mean, if you see in the video, there's a million houses. They all have at least one Wi-Fi pumping. So this isn't the greatest environment. So it is, is pretty impressive how much better the other antenna went. Yeah, I mean, other, this one we probably went a quarter, a third of the way down, and that's probably like a half mile. Yeah, I guess half mile. The yeah. other one I clocked it, it was like one and a half miles. Yeah, we went down the other antenna. So this antenna was pretty terrible, but it is just a standard whip antenna. Yeah, I mean, so I'm you know, two cents. I yeah, don't know. exactly. So I'm <laughs> but, not really surprised it was that bad. I mean, basically, this is just a wire cut to length, is all this antenna <laughs> yeah. is. Um, so what we're really testing here is we're kind of we're trying to build the ultimate long range quad, in my opinion, because. It's less than 250 grams. It is cheap to be. If you lose it, you won't cry too much, just a little. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, but I think uh, all in all, if we place this antenna, we do maybe a little tuning. I think it'll, I think it'll, it'll really fit the bill. Yeah. I think, I think we can easily get in the desert a couple miles from this. Absolutely. I definitely say, if we swap the antenna out, I'd say five miles. And I don't know if you guys notice these antennas we're using on our goggles. They make a huge difference. Yes. That combined with the other antenna just was was perfect. Yeah, because we did a long range test beforehand with the non HD toothpick with the slightly smaller and lighter battery. And again, it was like a mile and a half. It was almost two miles I went out and I had 100% crossfire RSSI. I had perfect goggle video. The only thing that made me turn around was that I was approaching the highway. So I went ahead, turned it around, flew it all the way back, and it definitely had some more range left. And this comes with a Pro 32 400 milliwatt VTX, which is pretty nice. And you know, an 800 milliwatt can even fit in here too. Yeah. So if we need extra range, I think that'll be an easy swap. We should get the 1.2 watt. I think that's sky. a little too big. <laughs> <laughs> just duct tape it to the side. But but the, the, the 800 <laughs> is pretty tiny. Yeah, no, yeah, 800 yeah. would definitely fit without any crazy modifications. So I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I am incredibly impressed. I definitely think if you're flying long range, these guys are going to start popping up pretty soon, especially once you figure out get some better HD camera solutions. We can start doing real steady. There will be no reason to really run. And, and really, the way the laws are, are supposedly proposed right now, this would be exempt. This is something you can build yourself and work on yourself and still have all the fun you can have on the big quads. There's not a whole lot difference to it. The quality is a little less than your GoPro but I have a feeling we're gonna see better and better cameras yeah. prop up in this form pack. Yeah, there's so. definitely, I know I've heard of some better looking cameras in the works. This is just like a ready to fly solution from Diatone and Run Cam, I yeah. think. I mean, it's literally like you buy it and you plug it in and it flies. Yeah, so, I mean, so. just the ability to get what could end up being with just swapping the antenna out and putting Crossfire on, getting three to five miles on a ready to fly for like, you know, was it 120 to 150 bucks? No, I think this one's insane. a little more expensive. It's 150 bucks without the split. I'm not sure what the split really? adds, like 180-ish, I, I sure. think. I was, I thought I no, saw it's 150 for sure. Uh -huh. And um, but this one, you know, adding the split, I'm not sure what it adds to the price. This one's the flight one version with the run cam split added. Um, but uh, we'll have to uh, we'll link them in the comments so yeah. you can get what you need. It is incredible. Also, you guys have been living under a rock. These guys, little toothpicks, do fly flight one now. You can actually purchase yourself a nice little license to put on your toothpicks if you don't buy the flight one version. Mamba F411, and I think the Maytag. Yeah, they F411 both work. Yeah, both of those boards. And if you don't license. have one, we recommend this one because the Flight One version comes with little mods to make it fly better and yeah. things. Yeah, it, it makes a pretty big difference. I've tried yeah. the non-Flight One version, the Flight One version. Yeah, the I flight think you know we basically mod. stiffened it up, made it so it flies a little better. So it's all good. All right, well, you yeah, wanna let was... us tell them to get the heck out. Yeah, so that is it, guys. <laughs> we hope you like the video. I hope you have some more mind-numbing flights like we had. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Let us know in the comments below if you guys think these toothpicks are about to take over. We'll see you guys next time.